Hey everybody, I'm um, going to dig a little bit deeper into this Wi-Fi module here quick. Um, I've gone and I've put it together so that it is attached to this board which runs on either side of this divide. So basically we're going to have four pins on one side, four pins on the other. This thing is going to kind of come up off of the top and plug in and this is going to label all of our pins for us. And so this is going to make it really a lot easier um, for us to wire this together. And so I'm going to put a new diagram, wiring diagram, um, on here. Let me actually present and kind of show you a little bit about what that's looking like. Not done with it yet, but should be done tomorrow. So it should be on the curriculum for you. Yeah, so it's starting to look like this. And there's basically eight pins that are laid out. They're all labeled like this. And so I'm going to show you where the wires go. I haven't exactly, I'm having troubles editing this. So I'll get it figured out. Um, but basically, you're going to follow this wiring diagram. Hopefully, it's going to be easier to figure out what is connected to what. Um, now that things are labeled, um, it's just going to be way easier than what we were doing before. Um, yeah. So basically, once you get this thing wired up correctly, uh, I'm going to run you through quick the next steps. So make sure that you've got your Arduino IDE desktop version downloaded. You've got your ESP8266 board installed. See the earlier video for how to do all of that. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you load up a blank sketch. So make sure you've got your Arduino Uno selected, your right COM port selected. Got a blank sketch selected. I've got my Arduino plugged in, and that's basically it. I pulled out um, all the other cords from my board. And so we're going to basically load a blank sketch onto our Arduino. Sick. All right. So now that there's nothing, I'm going to wire up um, my ESP8266. And really, it's just uh, five pins that I'm going to wire up here. So I'm going to give it some power. I'm going to wire my TX into my TX, my RX into my RX. I'm also going to wire up my reset pin. Reset to negative. I'm also going to put my uh, GP0 pin into negative. And that's going to put it into its, um, it's basically its, uh, loading mode. So now it's ready to receive um, some code. I am so tired. It's ready to receive the ESP826 is ready to receive its code now that I've got it all wired together. And so I'm going to send it. It's uh, this Wi-Fi tutorial code. This is going to be the same code that you guys have been working with. Remember to put the Wi-Fi name and password up at the top. Um, now we're going to go into tools. We're going to change our board. Instead of the Arduino Uno, we're going to change it to the ESP8266 module. We should still be able to use the same port. Let's just check our port, make sure, yep, we've got our same port on there. Should be good to go. And we're going to press the upload button. I'm also going to keep my hand handy next to the CHPD wire. So CHPD wire is plugged into a resistor that's plugged into the positive um, terminal of my rails. I've got my hand just ready to pull out that pin and put it back in at the right time to reset if this is having trouble connecting. So of course we've got... Uh, a cheap computer running all of this, trying to record me while also compiling a sketch, but it's going to go. It's going to load up this sketch. And it's going to say connecting. Is it going to connect? We're just going to wait here and just see, see what happens. Hey, and it connected. So I didn't need to do anything. I didn't need to actually reset that cable. Sometimes you have to, sometimes you don't. 
I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I have gotten, you can see right here, these orange things means that the, this code is loading onto my Wi-Fi module. It's gonna get up to 100%, and this means success. So I've successfully loaded this code onto the Wi-Fi module. And so there's a few pins I'm gonna change. Uh, take a look at the wiring diagram for using your Wi-Fi module. First pin I'm gonna pull out is the, I'm actually just gonna unplug my Arduino. And so that's just best practice is to unplug. I'm gonna pull out the reset pin. Um, I'm also gonna move over the CHPD, no, no, that's not it. I'm gonna move over the GP0 pin from the negative terminal, just plugging it into nothing. So that's gonna take it out of its editing mode. And now I'm gonna plug it back in. So this should start up like normal and I'm gonna check my serial monitor and see what's going on here. All right, let's just do a quick reset here. And you can see I'm getting dot, dot, dot. So that means it's loading and I get an IP address here. So this is what you wanna see. When I say reset, all I'm doing is I'm pulling out the CHPD pin and putting it back in. So that's gonna just restart it. And so I'm getting my IP address here. I'm gonna copy this IP address and I'm gonna paste it into my terminal, my URL right here. I'm gonna open up a new web page. And so you can see Right here, you can see it says type request. So that's a good sign. So that means that when I um, put in this IP address, it's connecting to my Wi-Fi module. My Wi-Fi module is sending a request to my Arduino, but my Arduino doesn't have any code on it. So my Arduino is not gonna get a response. So nothing's actually gonna load here. So the next thing I need to do is actually uh, switch up some wiring and load some code onto my Arduino. And the code I'm gonna load onto my Arduino is called uh, fake GPS. I've got it loaded up right here. I've got it set to my Arduino. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my RX and my TX cables out of my Arduino. Then I'm gonna load the code into the Arduino. So this is just going to simulate um, something having latitude and longitude. All right, so we've got something wrong with the baud rate. Access is denied. Oh, I know why. It's because I've got my COM port open. So let's close out of that COM port here. Let's load. Looks like everything is looking good looks like i just loaded in basically a fake gps so this is going to receive a request from the wi-fi module it's going to send out a response it's going to send out latitude and longitude of just some random numbers so this is just a test to make sure that our general things are working that we're able to send requests now i'm going to wire up my arduino going to be careful here i'm actually going to put my uh, TX pin into my RX port on my Arduino. I'm gonna put my RX pin from my Wi-Fi module into the TX port on my Arduino. This is gonna allow them to talk to one another. I'm gonna give my Wi-Fi module a quick uh, reset just to make sure it's set and ready to go. Looks like it is now connected. And let's refresh this web page and see what we get. Cross our fingers. Hey, and look, it has sent the latitude and longitude uh, to this. And so everything is working. My Wi Fi module, let's just, uh, stop presenting. Everything is working. My Wi Fi module is working. It is receiving a request whenever I put that IP address into a web browser on my network, right? It's sending a request to my Arduino for information. 
My Arduino is sending a response back with GPS coordinates. Right now, those are fake GPS coordinates, but later on, we'll switch those to the actual GPS coordinates. And it's displaying those on the web page on my network. And so hopefully, this uh, will make things a little bit easier for using this Wi-Fi module and think about what the next steps are for getting actual GPS coordinates um, from a GPS module um, into that response. Good luck.